another Springfield day. A truly perfect place to see your dreams just fade away. I have a law degree. For years I smelled just like cat pee. This cow just dragged you down. She's completely lost her head and we will eat her when she's dead. It really shouldn't be too long. Please, I'm late for my dialysis. It's another Springfield day. Day. <laughs> Lenny's a survivor. This will be a perfect day. Take it, Bart. If you're giving it, I don't want it. Bring it home, boy. My sister sucks. Yeah, yeah. It's another perfect day. I find this claim highly divic. It's all true. So where's your booth? I don't have one. I just came here for fun. Fun? One child, please. I was here first. If Disco's dead, I don't want to live. It's suicide. And look, IMAX Al Gore. <laughs> you okay, honey? It's fine, it's fine. I'm just intellectually drunk. Hmm, I guess that's okay. Hey, kid, I want to show you something. Are you a pervert? No, a chemical engineer. Huh? Wow. Listen, I don't know what you're teaching, but you and I have great chemistry. Except for the lab coat. It makes you look kind of heavy. I actually am kind of heavy, and it makes me look thinner. You didn't applaud? Nothing? Here, I'll show you how it goes. Thank you. No selfies. They all end up leaving and leaving. Well, it really stings. Uh, hey, Lisa, I brought you three waters. Cold, lukewarm, and warm. That's nice. Any sparkling? Damn it! Hi, <laughs> I'm Lisa Simpson. That's amazing. Because the boys I know are rich. I've got sparkling! Sorry, I'm not thirsty anymore. So, where do you go to school? I just moved here. I'm starting next week at a school called Springfield Elementary. A beautiful hotel bar, just like in The Shining. Oh, hi, little girl. If you see your ma, uh, my wife, tell her Homer, not your dad, wants the credit card. First add a tablespoon of dish soap to hydrogen peroxide, then add the warm water and the yeast. <laughs> German chemistry! Sounds great, Lisa. Really great. You're just a little behind the beat. Um, maybe you're a little ahead. Aw, oh, you're so cute when you're wrong. Turn up the racket! It's not a racket! It's the truest American art form! Banging on the walls is the truest American art form! And I'm a Picasso! Here's the school trophy case. Brendan, this is Nelson. Lisa, you sure know a lot of weird guys. Hello, Brenda. Excuse me? Why is being a girl an insult? Oh, so evolved. <laughs> On a playground, I tripped. <gasps> he turned his suffering into entertainment, just like the Jewish people. Nothing can ruin this moment. Make way, dead goofers. Nothing. Meanwhile, Bart's teacher says he has a flair for chemistry. Why that little... Wait, flair? Isn't that a good thing? Yes, it's too good. Can you find out what he's really up to? I will. <laughs> Keeping promise. <laughs> Stupid treehouse. <laughs> So far off the ground. <sighs> uh, Dad, you haven't even started to climb yet. Son, how do I put this? Are you breaking bad up here? No, I'm not. And if you're looking for meth, go see Cletus. What? Dad, I'm just trying to follow in your footsteps. You work in science, and I think that's really cool. Wow, you've never said that to me before. Marge, it's worse than we thought. He's speaking in tongues. He's a religious weirdo. The worst thing there is. 
you have a credit card? Yeah, but no money. Oh, a true jazz musician. Mm -hmm. really hard to scoop. You make me smile with my heart. Stop! Why are you doing this? I don't know. There's no good word for what I feel. I always liked you, but now I'm seeing you in a new light. Your looks are laughable. Ha <laughs> ha! And so now there's a jazz war over me. It's pretty bad, but it's pretty great. Uh-huh. Scotland once had two queens fighting over her. Loser got Scotland. Let me give you advice on love. The Scottish national flower is the thistle, a humbleweed. Legend has it that the Norse king Hakon staged a surprise invasion. Many a Norwegian lass lamented their dead lover on that glorious day. Willie, someone spiked the teacher's vodka with sulfuric acid. Superintendent Chalmers lost the tip of his tongue. Yeah, well, I brought my washboard. Nelson, you took our washboard. Hmm, they're quiet. Too quiet. <laughs> now they're loud. Too loud. <laughs> now they're just right. <laughs> hmm. The school talent show. And on the back, chemical equations. Still think he's innocent? We'll just have to go there and see. I'm gonna call you Decrescendo, cause you're going down. Nelson, that's clever. Thanks. For you, I read a book. <laughs> Ugh, so many clams. Well, you're going to look very nice for the show tonight. It doesn't matter how I look. I'm not ready. I've been so distracted by those boys. <laughs> I do not want to know how you got these back. So we're really doing it. We're going to a talent show where Bart is putting on a chemistry demonstration. <laughs> and then... Oh, it's good to have that taken care of. <laughs> Nelson, I cherish our unhealthy relationship, especially the fact that I can tell you the truth. Kiddo, you're not a singer. Okay, fine, I won't sing, but I'll still perform. Hello, I'm the school bully. <laughs> oh, don't be a dingus, I'm the next Charlie Mingus. <gasps> Could I really choose him? Choice is clear. Brendan. And Brendan wins! Not so fast. We have a disqualification. This young man does not live in the district. Right. His home is 50 feet into West Springfield. I guess this relationship is over until this town invests in mass transit. <laughs> Lisa, I'm glad you didn't choose me. No woman is worth learning music. Well... I guess I'm alone for the moment, and I like it. Good for Lisa. She's better off alone. She doesn't need a man. Wait a minute, everybody. Bart Simpson! Drop the beaker, screwy pasteur. <laughs> no, I wasn't doing anything bad. Pour the beaker and you'll see. <clears throat> Mom, I'm innocent. You believe me, don't you? I'll pour the beaker for you. <laughs> Yeah. He's innocent. But then who put the sulfuric acid in Superintendent Chalmers drink? I did. Mm -hmm. I never doubted you. Well, you should have. I'm so sorry. This episode was supposed to have been a parody of Moonlight, not La La Land. Moonlight? But none of us have seen it. We have the DVD. We can watch it tonight.